Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So I'm pretty excited. Today I've got the Hypervolt Massage Gun by Hyperice. If you don't know what this is, this is essentially a massage drill that you use to iron out some of the pains, strains and aches that you have in your muscles. I previously reviewed a similar device called the Theragun. If you want to have a look at the Theragun review, then please click on the information bar at the top corner here. Otherwise, let's go ahead and give this a quick unboxing and I'll give you a review and a little bit of a comparison with the audio noise with the Theragun to the Hypervolt. So let's get straight into it. Right, so let's go ahead and open the box. Right, we've got some uh, user guides and information here. So this is the UK plug that comes with it. I presume it comes with a European plug as well. So in the box, let's take a quick look. We've got the power bank here for the charging. We have the European plug, as I was mentioning. Battery pack and the handle. I'll just show you that. There you go. Then you have the Hypervolt device here. So I'll be showing you that in a second. And then if you've got four interchangeable heads that come with this as well. So various different types of techniques to iron out and massage your muscles. I'll probably go ahead and use the most common one which is the spherical soft padded massage ball there. But you've got pretty targeted one. You've got this one that looks like a bullet. Get really deep into those muscles. You've got a U-shaped one probably for those tight back muscles, various different areas. And then you've got a flat one as well, just to iron out some of the some of the tender areas on your body. So that's everything in this box. It doesn't come with a carry case, much like the Ferragon did. So you can check out that review of the case as well in my previous video. But let's go ahead and set some of these things up and let's see how it sounds. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is connect this battery pack into there. Next, I'm going to be connecting the head straight into there. I presume it goes in anyway. So you just push it in, make sure it's tight. And then you have a power button on at the bottom of the device there. You just go ahead and switch that on and it should light up. You can see that there's a green light that just came on here and there's some lights that come on over here. So this gives you an indication of how much battery life is left. So the one that's on the red, that's the lowest. And then if it goes all the way up to the end, then that shows you that it's full battery. It says that it gives you around about three hours of usage time, which I think is really good. Now the device itself is actually not that heavy. It, in the box it says it's about 1.1 kilograms, which I think is pretty light. I think it's lighter than the Theragun as well. The main purpose of me buying this is that it's more of a quiet version because the Theragun was really loud and it just hurts my ears when I was like massaging towards my shoulders, a little bit closer to the ears as well. So I couldn't cope with it that often. So maybe two minutes, three minutes and I just had enough of it. It was quite powerful as well, so your hands started to hurt after long periods of use. Whereas I tried to get this because I've heard so many good things about it. It comes with something called Quiet Glide technology, so I'm hoping it's a lot quieter. I know you can't be completely silent, it's just not possible at this stage. But let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Now one other thing I like about this is that it comes with three different speed modes. So you have the power button here, you press it once, it's on slow, press the second time, there'll be two blue lights, which is medium, and then the third one is obviously fast. Just before I start, I just want to give you a quick clip of my previous video of the Theragun to just show you how loud that was. So let's take a quick look at that now. Just a quick note, just realize it's very loud. Um, it's, it's like a real electric drill if you're gonna do some housework you're gonna put some nails in the walls, then it's exactly the same noise as that. So I'd probably put some headphones in if I wanted to do this as well at the same time, because it's just way too loud. And if it's quiet around the office, then it's just gonna be a bit too hard to bear the noise. Now, that was pretty loud to be honest. And I'm gonna give you a quick sound review of how loud this is as well. So. I've got it on, so I'm gonna put it on the first setting, which is slow. The microphone is here. I know the Theragun video, I was a little bit further away from the camera, but I'll just go and play it from this distance here, which is roughly around the same. That is really quiet. I can't really stress to you how much difference that is compared to the Theragun. Now, if I move a little bit closer, you'll be able to hear it, but a little bit further away, it's not that loud. Just so I can give you a bit of an idea, I would say if you take the Theragun audio levels as 100%, I 
I would say that the Hypervolt is probably 10% off that noise level, which for me is a massive difference. The Theragun, I can really use it outside in the public. It's just way too loud. It's disturbance prone. And I would just say this one will just change everything. I can take this everywhere. I can take it to the gym when I'm on my travels abroad, holiday, when I'm at the beach or something. Anytime I, I, I need to just iron out some of my aches and muscles, then I can just take this more comfortably. Now, lastly, I want to see how it performs. So let's go ahead and do that. Now this is uh, on the medium speed, a little bit louder but still very quiet and this is on fast speed. Now I presume this is probably around the same level as the Theragun where you get about 3200 percussions per minute but I reckon this seems a little bit faster than the Theragun default settings. It's actually doing a very good job massaging my muscles, it's quite intense on the level number 3. I can see it doing a better job though and ironing out all of the aches and pains a lot quicker. I definitely recommend this. For me, it's just better than any other massage tools out there at the moment. I would say it was a 9 out of 10, whereas a Theragun is probably more now, at this stage, a 6 out of 10, even though it did do a good job as well. Just a quick comparison between the Theragun and the Hypervolt. I'm going to create some audio waveforms here just so you can see the actual differences. So. I'm going to play the clip again of the Hypervolt being played and I'm going to play the clip of the Theragun and just give you an idea from level 1 setting on this, the quietest it can be, to the default setting on the Theragun, the differences. So let's take a look at that now. There you have it guys, I hope that made the comparison a little bit clearer. I can t definitely and guarantee that this is so much more quieter in person if you've tried a Theragun. I definitely recommend the Hypervolt. The design is really good. It, you hold it quite naturally. It doesn't really get in any awkward positions. You can target any type of areas on your body, even in your back. To remove, it's just pull it out and put the next head in. And then you can just continue using it as you wish. It's definitely worth the price. I would recommend it to any athletes or sportsman that is always picking up injuries, always getting strains, aches and so on. So I hope you like that review guys. Let me know what you guys think of the Hypervolt. It does cost about $349 depending on which country you're purchasing it from. And take a look, I'll leave some links in the description below where you can buy this from. And if you have any questions let me know. Otherwise thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time. <laughs>